हेलो एवरी वन वेल वेलकम टू आथरल स्टूडियो दिस इज अनुजा एंड टुडे वी आर इन आर डे थ्री ऑफ आर संथाल पेंटिंग सो इफ यू ऑल कैन हेयर मी और एंड व्यू द वीडियो नाइसली सो प्लीज टाइप इन अ येस सो दैट वी कैन स्टार्ट विद अट टूडेज वर्कशॉप सो आई वेट फॉर अ येस टिल देन आई जस्ट हैव अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ वॉट वी हैव डन इन द प्रीवियस आर टू क्लासेज विच वी डिड ऑन द सैटरडे एंड द संडे द प्रीवियस वन वी कंटिन्यू इन आथ रील स्टूडियो वी विल मीटिंग इन आर रेगुलर वर्कशॉप्स ऑल इनकेप्सुलेटेड इन इन अ होलिस्टिक फॉर्म वेर यू विल गेट टू नो अ लॉट अबाउट द आर्ट फॉर्म दैट वी विल बी डूइंग एंड हाउ टू डू इट सो थैंक यू सुमिता थैंक यू आई गॉट अ येस एंड यू ऑल कैन व्यू इट नाइस सो द आर फर्स्ट वर्कशॉप दोज हु हैव नॉट स्टार्टेड व्यूइंग इट प्लीज व्यू इट बिकॉज वी डिड टू पेंटिंग्स ऑलरेडी एंड दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट वन वेर वी लर्न हाउ द डिस्टिंगटिव फीचर ऑफ देयर बॉडी स्ट्रक्चर इट्स नॉट अ यूजल स्ट्रेट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द बॉडी दिस इज अ टाइप विच वी डू इन सांथाल पेंटिंग द फेस कैन बी ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स टूडे वी विल डू अ लिटिल ट्विस्ट इन इट एंड टूडे वी विल बी डूइंग द सांथाल डांस सो दैट वॉज फॉर द सैटरडे एंड the next painting was this wherein we did a lot of background and the routine life that was uh, that was for the santhals so this is a beautiful piece all the colors are very bright they have different taste to this this is a tribal art from jharkhand and now since uh, people are traveling in some parts of west bengal also you will see this very similar to this is a different art form which i will introduce today we will be doing our upcoming workshop that's like a um, a new workshop and that will be the sorai paintings sorai paintings are very much related to this but not the same so it's slightly different you will get to know when you will attend the workshop so after this we will do the sorai which is all connected so going on in a stream will help you to understand the flow of the paintings and how they evolved how are they similar and how are they different so today uh, we are doing the dance form and in the tribal um, living small things are celebrated and the nature the harvest festival celebrations are very um everything is lived by the community it's not a very closed affair all the community people they join together to celebrate uh oh yes um there's a question can we go through our previous sessions yes of course you can go through all it is recorded and it is available on youtube so you have to go under the playlists and see different art forms are there and uh, there are different folders to it whatever you want to learn you can learn it there so it is all posted there it's not nothing no workshop is removed now coming to the uh, dance form that we are going to do uh, today santhal painting like we have done um, sora painting we have done varli painting these all are the tribal paintings and these are all celebrating everything in the community so in uh, if you remember we have done uh, varli and there it was a tarpa dance so the manner of the dance is all uh, mostly in the community and many people are there in sora and varli we see a geometric circle circular formation while they dance whereas in um, in uh, santhal paintings there is no such thing you can uh, dance in rows so whenever you will see the dance form of santhal painting you will see that a, a straight row of people dancing together so those are the, um, that is a difference between the tribal varli tarpa dance and the santhal dance which are not in the formation of a circle but are depicted in a row so that is one thing i uh, somebody asked me a question how are the different tribes different in their art that was a very good question um, and i thought it because it will be very elaborate i'll answer in the uh, in this uh, live session so in this see 
the form is very symbolic starting from the cave paintings to uh, the tribal livings to the folk arts the traditional arts and very refined arts art forms also it starts from the symbol it depends on how much of the things are available and what is the mostly practiced style of the people see we are not doing any evolution from there we are not changing the style we are just depicting what it was how we see it and what could be the best possible reason it is a way to um, to give an insight on the history on our culture and how the it's a even evolution so when we say tribals it is not that we see those tribals today also the same way no uh, we have uh, come out of our tribal livings men at uh, from many places and now people are have started they they are educated they are moving they are uh, so uh, they are exposed to the modern living also so when we say that okay this is this is a santal painting so it's not that all santals they their origin could be from the santal tribals but it's not they are just tribe they they just uh, practice the same thing today right so now uh, santal painting has become very famous and the Sa santal tribe has also come into the limelight with um, with all the things that the government is doing for it now today we will be starting with our painting today we will do a little bigger one because it's a dance it's a community and there will be many elements in this and they uh, it's not a single person or one or two so we'll try to make around four of them on a a4 size base page so here in this previous one these were a4s folded into half so that you can have it in a card uh, shape so this was a very small piece a5 that is half of a4 today we will be doing a4 so a4 sheet i am using a cartridge paper 140 to 170 gsm will be okay if you want to go on higher it is well and good but do not go uh, lesser than that because sometimes we tend to put more water when we use poster colors and then we get um, we disturb the paper so i'll just place it on my table and uh, so that it's so here are the previous ones really bright and wonderful it can adorn any room any small space any gallery with a boost of color in that the rawness and the simplicity is maintained with beauty also so here i'll just keep them aside today also we will be using the paper cold press will work no problem cold press or hot press anything will work so a cartridge sheet 170 gsm 140 gsm is fine now we will be using a pencil eraser for any mistakes if we make we have to we will be drawing the rough sketch and few uh, brushes i will be taking one liner brush for doing the outlines when we talk about the liner brush these are speciality brushes with long bristles so they are not thick they are thin and long so that your line gets very straight and thin so it will not split much here for the filling of the bigger areas we have a little bigger brush it can be a six or a eight or a four anything till eight you can uh, take i'm depending on the paper also if you want to do it on a a5 size you have to take thin brushes uh mosh me no it's not hand painted it's printed <laughs> gouache medium better than acrylic up see there are totally different um, things to it gouache gouache will have a different kind of opacity whereas poster will have a different kind of opacity so it's like a poster color and acrylic the mid of this is gouache so here i will be I will be starting with the rough sketch of it and this is a A4 long thin brush. Uh, Ketki it's a speciality brush from Kokyo uh, Camlin series. So if I show you it's this um, like if it's readable 
it's camlin no it's not it's getting out of focus it's camlin and it comes with speciality brush liner if you go by that you will get thin liner brush and this comes for really cheap i think 50 bucks you can get it okay so it's not the same as a zero number or a triple zero brush in a triple zero or a zero brush what will happen is i'll just have one over here you will have it very short see you will have it very short this is whereas in the liner brush you will have it long some of the very good brands will have even longer one and why is it so because when you give a curve to it it can just go on and on with the curve so the line goes thin only it doesn't broaden okay anyway that's for the brushes here now we will start the drawing of it in this in this painting so you can also stick a masking tape to get your uh, border i will be taking the scale and doing the a really thin border i'll keep most of it to the drawing part So there is no such measurement on this and it's just like about a half a centimeter or so. Yeah. And this gets to be the frame. I will be doing four figures. So it is very important for you to when you plot your thing, when you um, figure out where you are doing it, you have to see the dance will be all standing positions so the structure will be a little longer right so here maybe four if i say it can be one over here i'm just plotting the faces over here one then maybe two different when you dance it's not the same length it's not like walking some are bent some are straight some are in different posture so we'll continue with that and we'll just take four of them so it's like four circles knowing that okay these will be the figures now in this while i will be drawing i will be talking about what all things are very very important in this because we have different instruments like in uh, varli painting we had tarpa dance and the tarpa dance is not only famous for the circular formation it is also named after the instrument the whole thing is the instrument the instrument is called a tarpa and in tarpa tarpa is made out of uh, the gourd so pumpkin it has uh, when it gets ripe it has been scooped and then the hollow thing is created as a vessel where the sound is blown and this tarpa is very important for them because they feel that this is the god's voice and they never face their back towards the tarpa they always look forward towards the tarpa and dance they can while dancing it's in many formations we see that we go circular we turn our backs and dance but it's unlike in this in uh, sorry in um, tarpa dance which is the varli painting varli again tribal why why am i uh, uh, bringing it in this acquaintance is because that is also a very famous uh, tribal dance now coming to the drawing part we have already studied um, how to draw those forms and today i will be just quickly sketching rough and then we will start with the uh, clean drawing with directly the pen so here so this is a basic i will be erasing it later i'll just zoom it so that it's easier for you to so with this face i'll just cut it across here where is the where the cloth has been tied and very rough this is the cloth tied this is the this is the head part i'll just go with the my uh, my pen directly maybe that will make a lot of difference to the drawing okay yeah just a second excuse Uh, I 
had to change the pen. What I am using today is Unipin Fine Liner. This is a waterproof pen and even if you paint after this, uh, the water will come in contact with it and there is no harm. It won't bleed or um, fade off. So it's also important when you are using a waterproof pen, it is also important when you are making something and you really want to preserve, it's important for you to see it's a fade proof also. So I'm just giving a quick so this is the face this is the hair so they are not well trimmed or very well groomed so a little long hair now this is the face which is clear now and I will be as I showed that the body will always be in a bean shape. So this is a bean shape body. This is like a stomach or a kidney bean like this. So just imagine that and then later on you have to just make the hands to just see where the position is. Okay, so I will go directly with the pen now. The structures are very lean so hand will be long and they will be thin. Not a lot of precision in this. This is important to be made. This, this do not uh, forget about that. This is a navel. So all these dresses are halfway, means till the knee. They are not long, so it is actually bare. So here the leg is not visible this side never mind here now there is very important thing as to what instrument they use and there are majorly four or five scene main uh, and there are drums the name of it is tamak and tumdak so tamak and tumdak those are two types of drums they generally tie it on their uh, waist and go uh, roaming here and there and then they do the dance so you will see when you will so here is one and you have to on the other side these are the two we will be doing um, the nose and the lip are not brown take please uh, show the lip and the nose slowly in the next video sure we'll do that okay so here we have already done the two sessions so I thought like okay this was already clear but okay I'll just show you. The eyes are bigger and I mean not very wide open they are thin but yeah. If you are making a male you can make a moustache too it depends on your wish. So this one later all the details will come with directly the paint. I am giving one more instrument here that is also made up of dried squash uh, guards. Like this. We have often uh, had such kind of things even today. But those are in wood. Um, properly carved. And this was a very naturally made handmade thing. It's made up of bamboo and the guard. So here again it has been scooped off and so that the voice can be made. So I'll make another one with the face over here which is right here. I will just go as you said go slow. 
this time the face is going a little in you can just make a little difference into what it's not important that only the males will be tying uh, the cloth on their head even the females do and this is a female i'll just show you how it is here though they will have tied hair over here now this is the curve of the face and I will be doing the forehead, the nose, you can have a little protruded lip and this part here with the thin neck. So this is how it is. So just to make it more clear, it's just the outline profile of the face and okay. Aradna, hello, hello everyone. And here after that. This is the ear and this is the hair. Again, the eye will be in the same fashion. So you may not make the lips outline inside. I mean, if you don't want to paint it, it's perfectly okay. You can have it both ways. Now again, how to go about the dress, about the body of this oops sorry so i'll just keep the hand over here maybe the other hand over here this is the body and this is the leg and there we go this is a fine thing just make a little outline and then we can go directly with it that will it's a no fail thing maybe when you are doing it, why do I call it a no fail thing? Because sometimes the hand is over here. And while you will make the body first, your mark of the pen will cut the hand, which is not supposed to be. So first, whatever comes first will be drawn here. Then she's a lady. The half side of the body is still seen because the covering of the sari. Uh, a loop comes from here so this is the hand covering this part with sari so here this is the body part this is the cover of the sari again there is a big flow of the sari here So as I showed you the bean shape, you can still make out that there is a bean shape and no matter, you have to see, see for that shape over here. So this is the bean shape, which is showing here also the bean shape is there, but we have, we don't make this part. So these are the pleats, be it men or women, the dress is only half till the knee because these are working people. The legs are thin. When it's the uh, overlapping in this is very well accepted, unlike the uh, Varli. In Varli, all the figures are separate because they are black, and they they will uh, mixing will uh, create a lot of confusion. Here, you can actually do the leg going on the other side also. So this is the lady's leg. So this is a overlapping here and that is perfect. Here is a small drum. All the drums that they are carrying are always tied to their waist. So when you will see the painting, you will see that they are all floating here and there, but it's not. Those thread, those details are not made, but they are always tying them on their waist while they're moving because they are dancing and they move. All these linings would be preferred. I would prefer to do it later with directly the paint because that will make a lot of things easier. Now here 
I'll just go for another one. I think this one looks very short. So I'll just make a full one. I'll just move this circle a little above. I'll just give you here. So this place and these would be feather sticking out. This is the cloth. This is again the Judah. This is the ear. And here is the nose. I'll go slow with the nose. It's just the outline profile here. Not very specific. The lips are a little bigger. Chin not very big. Just curve it around the face. Just one outline. Because it's not about the detailing in the face. It is about the whole, whole um, color palette. It's about the whole thing it's about the episode or the message or whatever is being done just knowing that again i'll just go around to give now this time i'll not do much um, drawing i'll just go directly i hope that's okay I'll give uh, another instrument over here on the hand and if you are holding the instrument the instrument will be in the front so in that case you will not make the body first right so this is a trumpet this one so this on in the in this side of the hand So here again this is going to the side and now not much will be seen this side because this is the this is already made over here this one we'll make one more while I was drawing this came to the just the clo very close to the and I'll make one more okay I'll just give a, la a little sketch it's not mandatory to tie the head uh, no moshami it's not very important uh, since you've raised this I will make another one which is not tying anything on the hair okay that's a very good question so um, i'll just do as you said so it's not mandatory i'll just do one this is the face and So again the bean shape which I always imagine I just made the bean shape and then the hand this side also a hand is going on the other side this is the body and here this is the leg so kind of a very twisted body and now it's easy I'll just go ahead not tying anything on the
so this is the lady's body this side this is the sari the body is still over here this is the side of the body you can make the folds in this as well it depends on how you want to depict this In a minute, we will reach to the hair also. Here, I am just keeping it all open. Here, the the drum is being tied over here. And the leg yes now after doing this how to paint it how to color it is also very important uh, because this way it looks very very plain Whereas after painting, it looks very beautiful. Now with this, I can just actually uh, give them a small drum here. Flute is also seen. So flute is also there. I didn't uh, draw any flute here. This is a trumpet. And later on the directly the grass and all we will be doing it directly I will use my eraser to do the erasing right now and so that I get the basic line it's important for you to erase all the pencil lines because when you will be doing your uh, poster color and you will be painting if there is a, a gray line pencil line then it will seal that line and with the lighter colors at places where it is not so opaque it might show so and you don't want your lines to show because here i was just drawing explaining i scribbled a lot in my picture i'll just erase it before we start the painting i hope this is all clear if in case you have any questions please write it down and yeah, if you're liking it, please press a, uh, press a like button and those who have not subscribed, please subscribe it. So let this channel keep on growing with all your love and affection. Also, uh, you may share all the workshops that there will be a lot of upcoming workshops also. Share it with others who are interested in art in knowing the art forms in a very holistic manner so this one here and just i'll take a moment to set up all the paints right now so i will be generally using these brushes and the paints I would be using poster colors I prefer always on paper poster colors when you are doing tribal art they do not reflect back they absorb the light very nicely and it's good it's good um, opacity also they are chalky so they are always nice to do in this acrylic also you will have you can do it in acrylic also if in case you are painting such things on fabric if you are painting it on fabric, it is a different paint that comes for fabric and then you can do your fabric painting with this. Any such thing on a sari border or a dupatta just uh, on the sides of the dupatta would look very stunning, very beautiful. So, um, 
yeah it it depends on the choice of the person who's wearing it but yes hand painted fabrics are always like a wow thing now we'll go with the background and the figures so quickly we'll go with the um, okay tell me what do you want uh, ma'am can you please take cherial class cherial is already taken marshami please check to that Uh, there are few of the cherial paintings that were done. Now going to the background, I'll keep it as ochre. That is one very mute color. So we'll just go. I'll uh, I always take a dropper to take out my. Okay, I I will after painting. Uh, I'll just show you Jyoti. I just took water here with the dropper. And taking a brush that's that's a eight round this ochre just taking out separately there was a hint of green also in it but I don't mind that always make your color in one batch estimating the area so if in case I have this much of the area in the background what should I do? How much paint should I take? How much water should I take? Just make it in one batch. If in case you're not very pro in making the same paint in another batch. If you um, differ in your consistency or in your shade, you will have patches and lines in your background. Nobody likes that. So try to make it in one batch. So here, just mix it nicely to get a homogeneous paint not very thick it's just like a nail paint consistency or little lighter than that the whole thing is when you will be painting it should not leave any transparency transparency should not give the watercolor effect okay i'll just keep it separate and then we'll start it will not take much time to cover this part and how to add the background we'll not do a lot of background in this but we will do add some oh yeah here i can um, I'll be adding some grass and all because it's always in the fields. There is no shading in this at all. So. Always start your paints from one side. Do not, do not go here and there little bit so that you get more lines so go from one side while you will be painting if in case you feel that it's getting dry or the brush is having a little it's less paint then you can just add a little on this this kind of filling in the background is called flooding actually in terms of it it's flooding so you just take good amount of paint you do the outline and then you just so with this kind of painting no your lines will will not come at all because it will just take the all the space So never keep your paint thick for that. Sometimes you get the piled up to the sides of the brushes. I'll just cover up all this. I'll do it directly with the paint later. Like when um, in our Kalamkari class, we did Kalamkari that then also we were doing a lot of flooding of the uh, color in the background.
so just take it liberally if in case it's too spread out you are having lines just take it and fill it up when I say fill it's like the again the same term flooding flood it with the color not the water flooding doesn't mean pour water so take good consistency of paint if you have lines take a little before it dries and just even it out and then you will not have the lines Yes, we do make a plain background, Vaishali. It's not all the time that it's uh, it's with the background of the forest. It's like maybe fields or whatever. This is a bigger piece with four individuals. Let's see if we can finish it off in the in our time. If not, then we will just uh, continue this in the next class also. But I, I'm, I assure you that I'll do it in front of you. It's not like I do it and I'll do it and I'll show you. You can actually sit with me and do your do it if in case um, I'm like if you have stuff then because the pace that I do is the pace which you can actually follow. It's like unedited video. Plus the advantage of you can ask me questions. <laughs> what all colors you can take for the background is dark brown, light brown, light green, green shades any any such thing you can also fill it with uh, trees and house houses as we did in the previous one we we've already i already showed you how to make a house which was in this one if you want the background to be like this of course you can make the background like this and then you can do it it totally depends on how elaborate you want to go right if you want to fill it with only the trees then you can have it like the trees here i'm not doing anything i'm just leaving it brown I'll have to take some more paint because it's all gone. Fix the consistency to the same that I have been used. I mean like I've been using. There is also one more thing uh, that even if you try and still you get lines, then what should you do? And what you can do is later you can just do some of the um, trees or any background so that you can cover up the major areas where the lines are showing more that's again a uh, rescue thing that you can uh, do to save your save the look of your painting but still it's always important to practice on to the things that we do not know or we are having the challenges in There will be sections from, from the middle which needs the background colouring. I'll leave the bottom area where I will be doing the uh, ground. Yeah. 
I'll go to reach the same level for all and then we will start. So yellow ochre, if in case you have a small box and you do not have yellow ochre, then you can just mix brown with yellow to get this color. You can also mix green in this to make a little greenish brown also. You can make your shades. As I said, no shading is allowed in this. Not much of the shading. The shading is the shade would not come on the paper. But you can always make the shade and apply. So it's not light and dark of the color happening on the paper. One side dark and one side light. There's no light play on this. You can just create the color by mixing two, three colors. And then you can do that. We do make the shades, but we do not shade the painting I will leave the bottom for the uh, ground. A little up and down in the level of the ground will not will not uh, matter. Okay, so this is the place where the ground is, and I'm just taking the green to fill that as well. Green you can do dark, light, whatever. I will be taking the dark. This is the poster green. Again, never, never use directly from the bottle. You have to take the color, mix water, fix the consistency and then you will be start, uh, starting with your work to get nice, nice uh, even background. Here, I'm just giving a broken line so that it actually looks like The grass so here so it's not a smooth top just fill it up roughly Always the overlapping or the uh, accessories or anything that you are making has the background has to dry before we do. So I'm just waiting um, for my ochre to dry, the brown color to dry so that we can go on that area.
can you let us know how to clean and maintain brushes of course it if it is a uh, if it is your synthetic brush and it is a poster color that it is just right away wash it off if in case you are using the main thing happens when you are using with acrylic paints then if in case you forget or there is a build up then you always then it's difficult to clean then in that case if it is like too tight you'll have to use a retarder which is a paint retarder and then you soak it there you can also use a nail polish remover a gentle one acetone or a nail polish remover to soak in your brush remember that you soak only till here soak it and then take a mild shampoo or a mild soap to clean your brushes with the toothbrush so always take a gentle brush towards outside and clean all the build up paint after you do that you will see that okay there is a frizziness and your brushes have been treated un under the nail polish remover it will be not as good as it is supposed to be just take a synthetic glue glue is like the camel glue normal not fevicol take the glue and just put your a little hand in the glue and water it will be little sticky just just make the tip of the brush and then let it dry once it is dry and uh, then all the all the bristles will be trained and the top and the point will be maintained you can just wash it off later the glue is wa uh, water uh, soluble and it will go and then you are good with your brushes oil painting you will have to use your turpentine oil to wash your brush okay i hope that's the answer for all poster water based acrylic based and oil based paints and brushes hog hair brush synthetic brush natural hair brush anything can be cleaned in the same manner okay now we will be going to the the whole picture okay we have little time left so um, okay we have little time left we will be finishing off with the background and we we'll leave the figures in the tomorrow's class we will do the completing of the figures meanwhile i'll tell you how to work on the greens or the grounds okay so take a thin brush here i'm taking my speciality brush which is the liner brush why i said always soak your brush till here till the uh, metal part because these are very thin woods they soak in a lot of water if in case left for a long time which we generally do at times and i have also done it um, so here you will see that the paint comes off paint has come off there is chipping happening and moreover the crimp gets loose sometimes this also gets loose this end so in that case you'll have to take a plier or a wrench and i mean like a plier and then press it hard not that hard that you will break the wood or this but yes you can just press it little more here i have already have green here i'll take white when you are taking out paint from your uh, uh, this bottle always see to it that you do not put your specialty brushes in there those are very light brushes and you won't be able to scoop out any paint first thing and you will be spoiling the tip so i'm just taking white and there we go now i'm taking my speciality this brush the liner brush not speciality i will not say speciality that's the range that uh, that is the type of the that is how they write it it's speciality liner brush just giving few general lines thin lines when you are using a liner brush always do not hold in a pencil uh, holding position or a tripod position this is called tripod position do not hold it like that instead uh, you have to hold it like this in a perpendicular position so that your brush gets uh, shelly jan ma'am can please hold it clear to the camera once which thing do you want me to hold the painting or the brush and i'm just giving few lines here and you don't have to be very very um, 
specific. Yeah, I'll just pull down the camera a little. Specific as all are parallel lines. No, that doesn't have to be. It's okay if it's not parallel. You have to work in a manner where you get it organic. Organic means like the wild grass. Uh, store brushes store brushes how to store brushes okay Nisha yeah uh, while you have to store your brush again I said that you can maintain the tip and keep it uh, making the tip you can actually put as I said water soluble gum in water and then you can also take the organic gum which we call the Arabic gum we use it in Tanjore painting if you have organic gum or the kitchen gum that is organic you can take that you will have it sticky when you put it in the water and it's water soluble so it doesn't do any harm to your brush if you don't have that you can also go with a synthetic um, water soluble gum synthetic gum that we get we get it from camel that clear one not fevy gum or anything which is more uh, then after that you just stiffen the tip and keep it flat do not keep your uh, brushes upright or in a way where you are uh, where it's like in a bag where the tips are going uh, down if in case the tips are going down then you will have the brushes which will have the twisted um, bristles that that is very difficult to cope up with so again if in case it is twisted or frayed Again, you will have to follow the same thing that let put some gum and let it dry. Once it is dry, it's like setting gel for your hair, no? The same kind of a thing. It's just on a lighter note. Yeah. So just give those lines. Yeah. Uh, are Dom's color brighter than Camlin? Not really, not really. If in case uh, they all are the same almost. So, but it totally depends on if in case uh, what you are, why you ask this question, I can, um, I can uh, feel what your uh, problem is coming. If in case your paint has dried somehow, okay be it camel or doms these are fresh paints it has water so this will have better pigments because the sediments are not dry and they are nicely um, i mean like they're wet well if in case be it doms black camel any color any um, of these if it has dried if it's rock hard you think of putting water in it and then you will see that the sediments of it are not actually behaving in the same manner. So then the, your water and your color is coming separate. Then you will feel that, okay, it's not giving you as good color as it is supposed to give. So only that. You know, I have a lot of, I'll just show you for this. Let me just finish this part. I'll show you ki, um, kya problem ho sakta hai. Okay, I'll just, I'll just tell you what. These are just the organic lines here. So this is the grass. How do we make the top part of the grass? I'll be taking the yellow. I'll use another brush to pick some yellow. Green was already there in my brush in this thin brush and now I picked a little yellow I am getting very light color I am giving the top to this just a dot will be the symbol of the growing flowers so you don't have to really make flowers it's not like Patachitra or other 
Kalamkari where we do a lot of detailing in the flowers and all. There this is done. You can actually take different colors to do it. If you want to do white, you can do white also. I will be doing here these three. I'll just keep it here. I think I'm putting my hand in the middle every time. You can do single dot or you can do it in the group of three up to you. You can make it dense or scale less. Um, I mean like far off, it's up to you. Tomorrow we will be finishing off with this painting where we will be doing the whole body and um, we will also talk about a little about the Sorai art. Sorai art is something that we will be doing again. When I talk about Santhal painting, I'll be going through this. Uh, okay, so with this, this is getting over. I'll answer to all your questions. One of my new poster colors came with a very grainy texture. Can you please uh, guide if it can, if you can fix it? Okay, Arpita, if in case your paint is coming with a grainy texture, that means uh, all the grains have been settled down. Settled down in the sense, when we take any paint, when it is a new paint, it will have water on the top. Never shake your bottle because then, while you are painting, when you are ready to paint, if you shake your bottle, there is air traps everywhere. And then when you are doing the painting, your color will not come even. You will, you can use keep a spatula or any uh, thin tool where you can, we do get with doms, we get a stir, um, small uh, plastic stir. If in case you do not have, you can use your sugar stir or something or a back of the brush also to churn your color very nicely. And whenever you're planning to do the painting, it doesn't go down in a day. So it's not like... If you have kept it for about like, okay, six months and then you take out one day and then you see a ray, then you are trying to pick the colors from the top, you are only getting water maximum and you are not getting that high pigment. So then you need to stir, stir all of them, keep it nicely before you start your painting with less of the frustrations. All right. If in case it is with grain, if it's too much grainy, then we do a lot of mulling with our hand also. That is for like um, uh, for making the gold paint. We do with the gold leaves, we do it. That is another process altogether, but you have to rub it a lot. So just see if in case with that, if your texture is coming nice, it is possible that your paint has expired. So there's an expiry. It's best before so it's generally two years it says it's good but i have which are lasting for last five years also and they work totally uh, totally good <laughs> thanks tisha <laughs> thank you okay so that is not a problem i have an i'll just show you it's just back uh, over here i'll just see so what i have here is it's since you've asked this question i'll just show you what i have right here i mean like i have so many inside but it's important to give you a live example so i'll just grab all of it so all your all your doubts are clear so i'll just show you i have wait i'll just show you Let's see all these paints these are camel poster these are okay this is actually came here somehow these are small sets of uh, six then this okay what i have done over here is so if i just show you the colors i've used all the boxes that ever i could get so these all are sorted here you will see it's a good example sometimes you will see that the fungus also comes in your in your colors i mean let's um there uh, so then you have to clean it up cleaning is very important so you do get out of the box colors in postal vermilion hue and beautiful colors are there we will be using tomorrow all of such colors which are different 
so i'll just show you what what i'm saying i keep all of them sorted like this so all the greens that i have till now all of them go here there are different i am a big buyer of all this so for this i'll just open one and show it to you so this is totally dried okay so what do i do you can uh, you can actually see it's dried and it's been poked by this when i have to save it for whenever i'm done with my painting i'll take clean water i'll just fill it up with 10 drops or 12 drops of water just that much close it and keep it never use it and for taxi just like that do not keep See to it that the bottle cap is tight and in your bottle you will have some water on the top. Good enough. It will not dry. If you feel that you have put too much of the water, there's no such harm in it. Next time you open it, you see too much of water. I What I generally do is I pour out the water and I get good paint. Okay. Those are my tricks of saving my colors for a longer time. So I'm just sharing it with you if in case it's helpful to you, you can use it because all my uh, paints are good. See, so there's water and thanks to only um, this just four or five drops of water before you close it. So here it, it already has it and I'll just show you if in case I have to start, I'll just take out all the water that is there. Paint is not coming. Paint, is, paint has a, uh, it's a sedimented thing. So this water is out and that's it my paint is all ready okay so whenever you have to keep it put some water in it on the top and then leave it so that is a good way of storing your poster colors acrylic doesn't work this way so here all all of them will have water because okay this is the sealed one no it's not the sealed one it's been used and it had water it has water i don't know if the camera is capturing it or not so this uh if you prefer you can leave the background paint and move on to so that we can complete within the time frame uh shelly we will do this because it's already over one hour we will be doing this in the next class which we will i, I will see you again tomorrow tomorrow is sunday i will see you again four o'clock and then we will finish this paint uh, because it's not only about doing it uh, we will do it together and then uh, maybe tomorrow we can finish it off with all the finishing and then um, we will be starting with a different art form which comes under the umbrella of Santhal painting. Uh, that's This was something I wanted to talk. Uh, in Santhal painting, there is one which is the folk. The folks mean the people, the art of the people. And there is one which is a Saurai art and the Saurai art is all about the motifs. So in motifs, what happens? Uh, they will be uh, painting animals, birds, symbols and that is yet very very beautiful mesmerizing it's very strikingly um you may not say realistic of course not but it's very striking and beautiful art so you can paint it on the pots pans i'm um, like uh, garden uh, planters and uh, your fabric your t-shirts and those tribal prints are beautiful so after this after finishing this tomorrow and uh, if you have any questions on santhal painting please uh, type in so that uh, we can uh, continue our talks also if in case any doubts we will uh, okay i think i've answered nisha's question how to store brushes and then um, dom's color are brighter not really it's only about how fresh the color is and how well the sediment uh, the pigments are picked if the sediments go down definitely the top layer will not so and uh, that has been answered mm. okay Vaishali you, with this also sometimes when I will paint and you will paint you will see that your colors are not shining uh, because of the light adjustments that we have to do for the camera sometimes when you take the pictures of a thing you feel that the colors come more brighter than uh, to a to your eye generally so not that uh, for mongoose brushes, I store them flat. Just wanted to know after how the paintings we need to discard them. 
after like how many paintings we need to discard then as you mentioned you use again after treating it yes you can use your brushes so many times there's nothing that you have to discard just well-kept brushes will be your lifetime treasure and of course if it's a real mongoose brush never throw it <laughs> it's it's a thing to have all the time be very very uh, clear on having it and not throwing it only brushes can be discarded if you feel that okay it has been over period of time and the brushes have totally uh, frayed or have are left with very less hair so sometimes when you use the brush now especially with the canvas painting after doing four or five paintings you will see um, that okay now hardly any brushes brush hair is left so then it is okay it's the time to let go you have taken enough from that brush <laughs> already but otherwise if the bristles are fine you can treat them and keep them save it and continue working it uh <laughs> you are quite brave to paint wearing such a beautiful dress oh yes it's not about brave it's poster color you can also paint uh, with poster color wearing anything it goes off with water yeah so acrylic you have to be really um, really very um, careful uh, and okay surekha answers of the brushes paints thanks for your it's my pleasure to answer all your questions if i know it i will never keep something to myself it's all for you i'm every time available to to answer what that i know and i can give you it's a pleasure always i always be there uh, can you please let uh, let us know how to get the mongoose um not really you can just go uh, for those suppliers who keep real brushes or the um, authenticity of the brush mm -hmm. just don't go on a regular shop and say mongoose brush who bolega he'll give you a synthetic brush saying hey mongoose hai. don't go by that go to a specific art store any university store outlet where you get authentic authentic stuff and then we do have to rely on that that it is such uh Thank you, everybody, and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. And do please join because I want to see everybody. And yes, those who have, uh, those who make it, please post it to me on Arthur Studio Group. Um, I'm like it's only admin, and why is it admin? Because they too much of uh, messages will bother everybody, and I don't want I myself don't flood the uh, WhatsApp group. If in case you are new and you want to join the WhatsApp group. please write to us and we will uh, add you to the whatsapp group and if in case you want your friends to be added to the group whatsapp groups especially then please let me know you can message me and i will share the link which you can share it with your friends and you all can join this community here it's like uh, free workshops on all the art forms so everybody and anybody is welcome with a good heart and the intent to do the a uh, beautiful art and no so uh, keep doing and keep attending the classes keep keep in touch and then i'll see you tomorrow and we'll finish the painting tomorrow till then bye bye have a nice weekend enjoy bye